Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video, and today I'll be doing a quick initial parts overview of the ZMR210R kit. And now this is redesigned off of the very popular and um, what I quite liked and was on my channel for quite a while, the ZMR X210. Um, but they have now redesigned it um, just a little bit, made things better, made it a unibody design, and tried to make it lighter. So this came in from FPV models, so I'm very thankful for you guys sending this out. Awesome to check out. It's got some really nice components in here. I'm really happy to be working with them. So let's um, go through a quick rundown of parts and what I think of them. All right, so first here we have our motors because motors are probably one of the most important things on your frame. Let's just get into these. These are the brand new Emacs Red Bottoms RS2205S, um, 2300 kV version. So I'm really happy to see that they've included the new version because these are some awesome, awesome motors. Um, I'm going to be doing a separate um, thrust stand overview video of these in general, but um, just, just take a look here. These look really nice. They spin. Let me let me listen to it. Hopefully, I doubt you guys can hear that on camera, but they, the bearings sound really nice. The magnets feel really strong just from turning it here. You can see they've got the new um, design up top. Comes with an aluminum um, prop nut on here. I think it's a little lighter. You got the hollow shaft. It's um, a shorter, um, shorter design overall. It's squatter. It's a hardened steel shaft. It's got the set screw. It's got the N50, or I believe it's N52SH arc magnets. They are arc, so it's just really good performance out of a 2300 kV motor. I believe getting over 1200 grams of thrust at not that many amps. So really looking forward to be testing these, and of course you get four of them. Okay, so they also give you uh, an antenna, an FPV antenna. So this is. FPV models own antenna. This is their new one. This is the Dragonfly Booster. As you can see here, it's got the eight lobe designs. Pretty interesting. It's got the really short pigtail version. And I believe, yeah, this is the SMA version. You can see the pin is in the um, antenna here. So I'm not that happy that this is that short um, just because it's going to not get it very far out of our copter. But, you know, it's going to be one hard antenna to break, I'd say. So onto the camera here, just taking things out in the order they're sitting here. So it looks like, ooh, got the orange one. Pretty sure this is the Run Cam Swift. Let's see, yep, the Run Cam Swift. As you can see here, the or bright orange. It's got the two stock 2.8 millimeter lens. If I can get a GoPro lens in, I'll be swapping out to that. But yeah, it comes with nice settings. Pretty much an HS1177, but with wide dynamic range, wide dynamic range turned on stock. So really happy with that camera, and then you just get some more wire wire harnesses in there. Um, they give you these props here. Let me open these. Well, it looks like I don't need to cut. Yeah, I might. Yeah, these are just uh, basically DALT 5045 bullnose tri blades, the version one. Um, you can see here these came with the ZMR X210 kit. You can see they're very they're full bull, bull nose. You can see really thick hubs, really heavy props. They're not specifically the DAL, but they're basically the exact same. Um, I don't really like these. They're just too inefficient, and they will break your motor shaft. However, with these motors, that's going to be pretty hard. I think these are going to be super strong, these hardened steel. But these can bend your motor shaft. That's why I like HQ props, because they do break easy, but you're never going to hurt your motor. Well, not never, but a lot less likely to hurt your motor, which is a lot more expensive. So I'm not going to be using those, but they give you two full sets. So... If you need something to get up in the air, I think it'll be okay to use first. And they also, I just noticed, give you this um, cool little 3D printed mount. Um, it looks like it's meant to mount a GoPro, um, uh, the Hero style, or an SJ cam, or a Xiaomi Yi. Um, I have seen people use a session on this, some of the people from the factory that built it, or from the company. Um, you can see we got some battery slots here and in the back, so... Yeah, it's, it looks like just from feeling it, I'm new to 3D printing, but I'm getting there. I have my own now, and uh, it looks to me like it's printed out of ABS. It's really strong. A little bit of warping on the bottom as, it, as well as I can see, so it's probably ABS. Um, but there's no real great way to mount this to the frame. You can see there's no holes. It doesn't screw in. So it's kind of like just a general design. So I might have to glue it on. I'm not really that happy with it. If it could direct bolt to the frame, I'd be very happy, but... You know, at least they do give you something, and it is available on their site for like $4 if you want an extra one. Okay, so lastly, let's get into the big white box here that came, which is the frame box with everything else in it. So on top, we have a bag, which is 
Um, we got some different size heat shrink, which is nice. We got a bunch of zip ties, little screws for the camera, and we also get some wire sheathing, wire mesh, which is nice. You get black, so if you want to keep um, cover up your wires, your motor wires and ESC wires, stick it in there and keep the build nice and clean. You can do that. I think I might actually do that for this. Got some Velcro, ooh, bunch of FPV model stickers this time, saying uh, they're shipping from the USA now. There's their USA website. I'll have to check that out because. I order a lot of stuff from these guys. I don't just get things to review. We've got a little cable here. Camera manual, don't need that. Okay, we've got an X Racer F303 V3.1. I really like this board. It has an um, uh, MPU 6000 gyro and it can run it runs through the SPI interface so it can do uh 8K 32K. Um, so really like this board as one of my favorite boards. I love the X Racers, so it's nice to see them continue that trend since it's their own board. Got a bunch of wire here. It says it's 16 gauge. Hmm. I don't know what you're going to be using 16 gauge. It looks like a meter, but I don't know what you're going to be using 16 gauge for in this build because the only thing you should have to add your own wire is for the uh, battery cable, which I always use 12 gauge just to make sure I'm not losing any power through the cable and heat because uh, my graphene batteries come with 12 gauge, but. Hmm, I gave you some extra in there, I guess. And we have an XT60. Looks like we have our ESCs. So these are the um, DYS XS20 amp, or XS30. So you can see here, I've used these in a uh, past um, one copter, the GBX210 from Gearbest. These had them. You can see the DYS XS30. These are pretty nice. They run uh, BL Heli S, so very, very smooth and low RPMs. Um, a couple desync issues people were having. I've never personally have any, but I make sure just to wire mine manually because I heard that swapping in the BL Heli configurator um, can cause that. So I just make sure to wire them manually. So there's two, let's see, is there four, three, and four. Yep, continuing with four. So this is a bag just with a battery strap, looks like, as well as some frame components. We've got screws and spacers. Here we've got the video transmitter. It is a 200 milliwatt Dragonfly VTX, which I also use in a lot of my builds. So this will be pretty familiar for me. Um, the only thing I don't like about this one is that it's using the right angle adapter. I prefer straight mounted to come straight out of the frame um, because with this little guy though, coming straight back, it's going to be hidden behind all the carbon. So I guess if it's just sitting up like that, but and again, it's so short. I don't know. Uh, we'll see how it goes. But I prefer the straight mounts to come straight out the back and then zip tie to the top plate because I, I have never broken anything that way. I break the antennas this way. We've got a Maytech V3.1 mini power hub, which I also use on almost every one of my builds. Never had an issue with this. Some people have been saying about regulators failing, but or maybe not failing, but producing wrong voltages, but. I've never had any issues, so I quite like this. It's got a nice video pass-through. Got some double-sided sticky tape, maybe for the camera mount, I don't know. Use it somewhere. And then here we have, lastly, the frame. So let's get this here. Take a quick look at the frame. I will be doing, as well as I said on the motors, I'll be doing a full review video on the specific frame. Let's check that out. So that'll be coming soon. So I won't go into huge detail on the frame, but let's just take a look. So you can see we have the main plate here. The bottom plate is now all one. Um, and I definitely do like the looks of it. It kind of looks like a spider. It's got nice curves in the middle and then some nice sharper areas. I think it looks pretty nice. It's got some thin arms, which I like. Keep it lighter. We've got some, it's like I forget what it's called, but some rounded edges around the edge. And I believe it's four millimeter carbon. You feel it. Yeah, that's, that's definitely four mil. That's really thick, really strong. And here we have the top plate. You can see this is two millimeter from my seeing on the site. So nice that they included a two mil top plate. Um, I bet I break the one mil top plate, so it's nice to see two, maybe two and a half. But yeah, so just go up here and fit like that. So let's just get a really quick weight on this carbon. I know it's not even close to the full frame, but I just want to predict or see how much the frame weighs. Just these two pieces weigh. 86 grams together, so not too bad. So it should be about a 100 gram frame, maybe 110, I don't know. We'll see what it comes out to be. Um, but yeah, there we go. That was the quick first parts overview of the ZMR210R kit provided from FPV model. Like I said, stay tuned for the specific individual videos coming on these new red bottom motors from Emacs, as well as this frame. I'll be taking a closer look at everything on it. 
and be doing a full review. And then I will also be doing build videos for all this. I'll be doing a part one, two, and three build video. I'll be continuing with that trend. It seems to go pretty well on my channel. Easier to get the videos out. And then I will be to doing another PID tuning tutorial on this copter, as well as you know line of sight flights. And it'll probably be one of my main uh, FPV copters for making videos. You know FPV videos, depending on how this mount works out. If I can get my session in here pretty easily. And we'll see how it flies, but yeah, it should be pretty awesome with these motors and these ESCs. I'm expecting this to be a really top, really top-notch quad. So yeah, please subscribe if you aren't already. I'll leave a link down below to check out my Patreon if you're interested in helping support the channel and what I do. So yeah, see you in the next video. Bye.